So here we have Brandon Scott. My name is Lamar White with the movie blog. Lamar with the movie blog. Okay, yes. First and foremost, first and foremost, I must say, Kyle had a message for you. He said you could never do it like him. You can't dress like him, and you'll never be better. Yo, Kyle. <laughs> Yo, Kyle. <laughs> I'm over here wearing the Obama tan, yo. There's a theme to this, okay? Remember when this was a scandal, okay? Scandal starting right now. Don't don't get us. <laughs> okay, so what what surprised you the most about your character? And uh, did anything pop out within the portrayal in the series that wasn't on the the page? Uh, yeah. What surprised me most about the character I was how much fun I'd have with it. I mean, uh, he's just deliciously, the relationship is just so delicious, so much to explore there. And yeah, we, I, I try to throw things he in here and there. Um, I, I'm very much, uh, love pitching ideas, big pitching moments. And, um, a, a number of them stayed in the cut, which was really exciting. And uh, what would you say is the biggest similarity between your character and yourself? Between uh, my character, the, the best similarity between my character and myself is, <laughs> you know, um, that feeling of every now and then, like when, when, you, when you've been burned by someone and then you have all the power and you kind of want to go in there and just kind of like strut it a little bit. I definitely, not anymore, I've worked on it. My ego can sometimes, in the past, it would come up. But lately, I've worked on it. I've done a lot of meditation and praying on it. But uh, I'd say that, you know, sometimes when you, you want to, like, triumph over uh, adversity, and especially when it's someone who did you wrong, you kind of want to, uh, again, uh, flaunt that power. So I'd say that was his ego. But then also, really, what's underneath that is just he's a fucking, uh, he, he has a big heart and just has been hurt and uh, not wanting to, like, open himself up again to hurt so i can relate to that i think a lot of folks can and uh did you have any kind of difficulties in portraying the character at all yeah i think there are always difficulties i mean number one just my own stuff that i put in the way i feel like every time i get a job i have a bit of imposter syndrome so i'm like okay uh they're gonna fire me day one you know so sometimes you have to get over those nerves but then other than that um just the scope of uh, the magnitude of journalism and politics. I, I love that stuff. I was going to curse. I don't know if I can't curse. But um, and so just kind of all absorbing all that and wanting to just really authentically portray that that was challenging and, and a lot of fun, actually. OK, and last question. Who do you think is the unsung hero of the story of the show? You know, I was going to say Kyle, but you know what? Uh, I'm going to take that back. Um, unsung hero of the show. <laughs> I'm going to give a shout out to PETA. Um, he's the press boy who, I, I'm not going to reveal too much, but he's running at the top of episode six. I was like, that's a brave soul right there. I'm going to give a shout out to him. Wow, uh, perfect. Well, thank you so much. This is Lamar at the Movie Blog. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Pleasure, pleasure. Hey, please. All right, clear the read, clear the read.